ドゥンドゥンドゥンあーあーあーあー Yeah yeah I'm gonna take my horse to the c o l d train road I'm gonna Ride till I can't no more. I'm gonna take my horse to the c o l d train road. I'm gonna ride till I can't no more. Welcome to my channel. It's a movie cause I'm only 42 subscribers away from that 100. Oh my god, we so close. We, we, we so close. Train to 1K. It's train to 1K. Today's video's gonna be on the universe mode. How did Vince McMahon call me up and say, hey man, you need to take over the WWE because w e suffering. Maybe your gloriousness can save our company. Can't nobody tell us nothing. They can't tell us nothing because Con Cold Train Productions is own thing and it's fully mine. You can't take my idea because I created myself. What you gonna do about it? Nothing, nothing, nothing. If you don't like it, you don't have to subscribe. But you probably will because you gonna love it. Because can't nobody tell me nothing. They can't tell me nothing. What you gonna do about it? You ain't gonna do nothing. Take my horse to the c o l d train road. We gonna ride till we can't no more. Take my. my uh, 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 uh. Right till we can't no more. And um, it's gonna be the cold train road, road, feeling like a rock star. We almost to 1k with my brand new guitar. That's enough of that, alright. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Universe Mode Stories. You know what I'm saying? That was the old town road. We gonna ride till we can't no more. Um, Universe Mode Stories is a video where we go over fun booking Universe Mode Stories that, 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 that we had over the last six years, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people have been asking me, what is Cold Train Productions? And I want to give you guys the fully detailed, this ain't, this ain't fun facts, you know, fun facts is where I can lay out the, lay, lay out the fun, the facts of the series. This is stories of how stories came up and how this and that came up. How did I come up with Cold Train Productions? Well, it all started back in WWE 2K14. WWE 2K14, in my opinion, started it all with the Universe Mode. My first produced episode. So, fun fact my uncle, we were sitting there and we were wondering what can we do with this Universe Mode, universe mode thing? So, I stated. How about we just make, do, control a show? You know what I'm saying? We have, we, you know, we have two shows, Raw and SmackDown, and we have exclusive pay per views. You know what I'm saying? We could create our own pay per views or whatever and stuff like that, or use the in game pay per views and just say, oh, this is a Raw show and a SmackDown show. That's exactly what we did. And we wrote out our own scripts. We wrote out our own scripts. We wrote out our own matches. We, we did our own commentary. Say now. And we, we just did it and had fun with it. And I didn't, I didn't take it too seriously. You no, know, next, then, then, then the next year, um, he didn't, we, 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 he did his own thing. I did my, I did my own thing. I just said, you know what? Um, somebody, somebody on YouTube at the time was doing this. Um, I think Brent, Brendan plays. I, I don't watch him anymore because I, I, I used to be a massive Brendan plays, but I don't watch him anymore because I think it's just the, the CPU thing is just getting boring now. And I, I like people that control matches and give me quality stories. You know, Brendan plays, just, he just, he's a simulation type universe. He just sits there. He writes his own. He, he, of course, he comes up with his own stories, but he, he lets the CPU play it out, and I don't, I don't like that. But he gave me the bright idea of saying, picking up where you last left off. And that's exactly what he did. He, from 2K14, he continued, he put it back in the next game, and he continued it from game to game to game, and he picked up where he last left off. So I said, you know what? Let, let, let me do that. So I, I just kept doing that, and、um, I got the current, the current team I have on now. We、uh, and a group of friends. Still, still to this day, do this. 
we we came together and we had created um Cold Train Productions. Now, I call myself Cold Train because I got it from I, I got it from a video game. I, I actually, um, Cold Train came from a video game. It it, it you know, and um, people are gonna be like, oh my god, why? What? what oh, like, oh Cold Train, why did your name come from a video game, man? Because I was a huge fan of them. I was a huge fan. I was still, I'm still am to this day, a the biggest Gears of War fan you will ever find, ever. Because I have somebody from Gears of War named after my channel. So I said, Cold Train, and since we're writing, writing the scripts and writing the shows and producing the shows, let's add productions at the end of it. And that's exactly what I did. So we needed to find a in-universe way to say Cold Train Productions exists. In the WWE. So the universe mode explanation on it is that, you know, this this, this probably will never happen ever in dub ever because WWE is the it, it's a machine. So they they you know, they it, it'll take a lot for this to happen uh in real life. WWE was in a shambles. WWE's creative was terrible, WWE's booking was terrible, and they had they were, the ratings were suffering and suffering and suffering and suffering. And they had no other way out. Until Vince McMahon said, we need to pull a plug on everything. We need to pull a plug on everything. And we need to be the machine that we were back in the attitude ever. So he called me and my friends up. Cold Train Productions. And said that you, you and your friends can write our shows, produce our shows, and book our shows. Meanwhile, I will be the C to still be the chief operating officer. But, but everything goes through you. You have your own writing team, you have your own booking team, and you have your own production team. He called us up and stated that you, Cold Train Productions, can produce everything WWE. Get us back to the machine that we were back in the day. And that's exactly the in-universe mode explanation on it. And that's how Cold Train Productions came, became a universe mode thing. So that's why I say now, Cold Train Productions presents... The Raw has to be view backlash because that's exactly what it is. Because we we write we write the shows, we book the shows, and we create everything. So that is everything. A lot of people have been asking me, how does production go? Well, I have somebody that creates the entrances. I have somebody that creates the victories. I have somebody that creates the characters, make that that makes them look good. I have somebody that, um, you know, m you know, does the camera work. You know what I'm saying? Like they get that, make sure they test the game out to make sure we can get this shot and that shot and that shot. You know what I'm saying? I have some a highlight reel guy that we that that we're hiring that is going to be working on getting highlight reel stuff for the NXT, like using the highlight reel and stuff like that. We're still working out the kinks on that one. He's teaching me how to integrate the commentary and do that stuff as we speak and hopefully by 2k20 we get the highlight reel together i have a highlight reel guy um we have we have production production means a lot of things production is getting the interest together production is getting the victories together production is getting the what's going on in the ring so we have a match we have a match script guy somebody somebody scripts the matches together you know what i'm saying what you see on television is all is, is mostly is scripted most of the base of some matches are scripted. Like for pay-per-views, for example, Money in the Bank, the um, WWE World Heavyweight Championship match that was scripted. The Raw Women's Championship match, we knew exactly where we were, where, where we were going with that match. That was scripted. The SmackDown Live Women's Championship match, that was not scripted. That we came that we came up with that on the fly, live streamed. Um, most of the great matches on Money in the Bank were scripted. The Raw Tag Team Championship match, SmackDown Tag Team Championship match, all scripted. Yesterday with the Bailey and um, Ruby Riot stuff, that was scripted. All that, that, all that was supposed to happen. Uh, you know. Um, and we... You, and we were basically run like a WWE machine. Because we have most people that work on multiple things. The only thing that I do in the production is write and commentate. That's it. That's all I do. All I do is write and commentate. I don't do anything else. Everything else is done. Interests are done for me. 
victories is done by somebody. Um, you know, the, the the motion is done by somebody. You know what I'm saying? How 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 are we gonna do the cuts in the entrances? That's done by somebody. Somebody somebody approves the custom entrances. Somebody approves the victories at the end. Somebody approves this and that and that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody approved the camera cuts. You know what I'm saying? And I sit with somebody every single every single episode and we sit there and we control everything. Everything is controlled. You know what I'm saying? How the you know, we, we even tweak how the CPU acts so we can make so we can make sure that they act the way that we want them to act in the game. You know what I'm saying? We have a we have a internet manager that looks at the chat. The, the internet manager, he types in what's what's happening in the chat. He the internet manager he shares the video out. We have a Twitter guy. The Twitter guy puts the thumbnails out there for the world. You know what I'm saying? He shares the data on Twitter. He puts the hashtags out. He tags the people in there. We share the thing. The only thing I do is commentate and look and look at the commentate, look at the chat and write. That's my job. That's my job on everything. And it's when we and we work together to get everything situated out. And that's culture and productions. Um, for the first time ever, we had somebody come into our stories. We had somebody helping us with our stories. Because for the last six years, and since I've been on YouTube, since 2K17, I've done everything with my team. Nobody else has, nobody else has helped me with anything. No. Nobody else has helped me with anything. My team doesn't watch any other universe modes. They don't. They don't. They only, they only focus on my universe mode. It's not, it's, you know, I watch everybody, every, uh, other universe modes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I get some ideas from people, but mostly we know where we're going. We have creative meetings every month, and we're already, we already got SummerSlam written out, and we're, we're focusing on getting Survivor Series together as we speak. We're, we are months ahead, and we, you know, since I'm a computer scientist, we have to say the if statements. If this happens, how are we going to write this in and stuff like that? We, you know, when that's why I tell you guys, when you say, oh, download my character, it's a process. It is a process. Like, look at SummerSlam right now. We have a lot of custom superstars on SummerSlam. Don Toxley. We got, um, we got K and S. We have the Creators World Title. You know what I'm saying? All those guys in there. Philip, Leo West in them. And it, it, it's a process. It is a legit process. Um, that goes into the stuff, and I'm gonna tell you guys some stories. You know what I'm saying? Of how we came up with these storylines, these, these things. This, this is not like Universe Mode Fun Facts where I just, I just list facts, facts, facts. And, and, and you know what I'm saying? Just tell you about the facts and, and you know, and, and explain them a bit. This is like a, this is gonna, like this series is going to be like a story. I'm going to tell you guys stories of the stuff that we came up with since we're really far. Um, since we're really far from WrestleMania, I'm going to tell you guys a story of how WrestleMania was almost a complete mess. But turned out... To be better than we thought it was going to be. I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell that story um, probably on Sunday of this week. We're going to, we're going to have, have that video come out. It, it depends on how this video does. But, um, yeah, and, and that's that's the story on Culture and Productions. That's how we came up with it. And that's how the behind the scenes works. I write and commentate. When you say download this guy, I got to get that approved by my team. When you, when, when it, when, when you say... Oh, change this and change that. Somebody got to change that for me. I, I I don't change that. No, I don't. I don't change that. That's not my job. My job is to commentate. My job is to commentate and write. That's it. I don't work. I don't work on those entrances. No, I don't. I do not. I don't. I, I don't. I don't work on those attires. Oh, I forgot. We we have we have an attires guy. I don't work on the attires. I gotta uh, I gotta make sure my attires guy is 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 ready to get those attires together. We we go over who needs a new attire, who who need who looks to, who's getting who the, who the fans who who are we getting tired of looking at in the same attire, and we and we get them a new attire. We go we go over the the, the the slots that we have enough available and stuff like that. I oh oh also I commentate, write, and make the arenas. That's all I do. I make the arenas. We we we, we sit there. For hours, make those arenas from scratch, from scratch, and we we have we are dedicated to have custom arenas because WWE has been lazy in real life, and that's what we don't want to be. We don't want to be lazy. We don't want to be lazy. We sit there, we make those arenas from scratch. We put the logos in. We do all that ourselves. 
I, I, I am the head of the arenas and head of creative writing and head of commentary. I'm the only one that does commentary because they don't want to do commentary. Not a single person in coaching production does do not want to do commentary. I'm the one that does commentary, and that's it. I'm the only one. That's it. Nobody else, nobody else does commentary. You, you, you will never hear their voices. You will never hear what they look like. You will never do that because they, they don't want to be shown on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I'm the, I'm the YouTube figurehead because I am the technically the owner of it. I created it with, with, with the people that's winning it. So everybody has their indiv individual jobs that they do. And I have my three assignments. Creative writing, commentary, and arenas. Everything else comes together from other people. They, they implement their stuff in the series. You know what I'm saying? You know, if somebody somebody says somebody says, "Oh, this guy needs a new entrance." The the entrance guy the entrance guy is on there, like that. Boom, boom. He's like right there. Boom. Quick, quick, fast in the hurry. Gets the entrance together and and it's, and it's set. Somebody, you know, what I'm saying, production guy is right there too. You know, when we we sit sometimes and we script matches is out. We do. I I have a lot of scripted matches, cause I, cause we cause we know where we're going with it. I be playing. Yes, yes, yes. I produce. I'm I'm one of the head producers. But we I always have somebody sitting there next to me and we always be talking throughout the show. That's why I be quiet. You know what I'm saying? Cuz I be whispering and talking, you know what I'm saying, at certain points to make sure this goes well and that goes well and stuff like that. That's it. And that is the story on what is Cold Train Productions. And how did it came to be? That's the story. And that's and that is Universe Mo Story, episode number one. Hope you guys enjoy. If you guys want any more stories on the Universe Mode, sh drop them down below. How did this come together? How did that come together? And I will tell the full story on it. I'm saying the story, the Universe Mode Story is one topic. It, it, it's a one topic series. I go over one big topic on the series. And, um,. And, and, and we discuss it for the whole video. While fun facts is fun facts about a series, about the series. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between Universe Mode Fun Facts and Universe Mode Stories. Hope you all enjoyed. I have another one coming out on Sunday about WrestleMania. What went wrong with WrestleMania this year? Did the, did did all the winners win, or did they, or, or, or did we have some missteps? And was it the best pay per view that that we have produced? In WWE 2K19, you, you'll be shocked at the answer. We'll talk about it on Sunday. I hope you all enjoyed the video, man. Like, subscribe, comment, and sus subscribe, and share. If you want to add your more input in Universe Mode, please, I urge you guys, go in the comment section, give me a topic, and I will do it. Legitly, I will do it. Um, I'm sorry about not getting the Universe Mode reviews up. I still got to get J&W stuff up. Don't worry, I haven't forgot. And we we got we still got J and W to do, and we still got Night to do. So we st I know I got I still got to review these shows, but give me time, guys. I'm I Hurricane Barry had came, so when Barry came, he ruined all my plans. So and, and I and, and I had to play catch up. So I I am I am currently catching up on videos that should have been done week days ago. So I'm going to get to your reviews. Don't worry. We still we still got Third Strike coming up on Sunday. Well, watch this, and then that, that will be good. That review done on next week. But I got somewhere to go Saturday. I have I have a busy day Saturday, so there'll probably be no video Saturday. But I will try to get J and W's um, call, call call show reviewed. Um, hopefully by the end of the week, um, and and hopefully I can get to um, night as well by the end of the week, and then third strike, and then after that, hopefully Merce will be back. And then we'll get back on the Merce reviews. But I um, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Regardless, like, subscribe, comment down below. Any questions, comments, or concerns. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out, y'all.